Welcome to the next episode of Distance Learning with the Bakersfield Symphony. We'll be looking at the next movement of pictures at an exhibition today, entitled Ballet of the Unhatched Chicks. So what exactly is an unhatched chick? It's an egg. Ballet of the eggs. While you mull over how weird of a concept that is, take a look at this drawing. Each movement of pictures at an exhibition is based on a drawing or painting created by artist and architect Victor Hartman. And here we can actually see the original artwork the music is based on. This is a sketch Hartman made for a costume design for a ballet called Trilby. And the children involved in the production were dressed up as birds and unhatched chicks. This was Hartman's creative solution to how one would create a costume of an unhatched chick. When you think of ballet, you probably picture a ballerina wearing a tutu, standing gracefully on tiptoe, twirling and leaping as though the laws of gravity did not apply to her. Contrast that image with our unhatched chicks, and you may begin to realize that ballet is a much more varied art form than most people realize. Mazorgsky wrote his music based on Hartman's sketch, not so much on the notion of the graceful ballerina. If you can imagine a combination of the way chickens move and peck at things, along with the idea of someone trying to move around wearing the unhatched chick costume, the music actually makes a lot of sense. We're going to listen to the music along with a listening map. A listening map is a set of visuals that relates directly to the music in some way. I've made some creative decisions about what different parts of the music represent, so keep in mind this listening map is not necessarily what Mazorgsky had in his head as he was writing the music. However, it does help to show the form of the music. It's easier to tell when the same parts of the music come back when you're seeing those same visuals as well as hearing the same music. We'll visit each visual and musical idea individually and then listen to the movement as a whole. First is an image of chicks. I imagine this part of the music to be chicks running around pecking at the ground for food. The short, quick notes in the melody represent the pecking of the birds. Then we have the unhatched chick stumbling up unsteadily, trying to peck like the other chicks, but having some trouble because of being halfway in his shell still. Unfortunately, the unhatched chick falls down. Understandable, I think, because I imagine it would be difficult to walk around wearing an eggshell. Now the chicks see another bird flying gracefully through the air, flitting about above their heads. The chicks, intrigued with the idea of flying, try their best to fly as well, but only succeed in hopping around clumsily on the ground. Now we're going to listen to the whole movement. Remember, Mazorgsky based the music on this drawing. The listening map visuals are things I came up with upon listening to the music. As you're listening, I'd like you to try to pay attention to any pattern you might hear or see as certain melodies or visuals are repeated. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did you notice any kind of pattern? Let's map things out. First, we had the chicks pecking about, followed by the unhatched chick. Back to the chicks, back to the unhatched chicks, and then the poor unhatched chick falls down. And then we heard all of that all over again. Then the music changed. The chicks see the bird flying overhead. They try to fly as well, with little success. And then we are back to what happened at the beginning, with the chicks and the unhatched chick, except this time we go through the pattern only one time instead of twice. Now, we could break it down in really fine detail, looking at each visual and melodic idea, but if we take a step back and look at the bigger picture, we see three main sections of music. There's this pattern that happens at the beginning, with the chicks and the unhatched chick. We'll call that A, and it happens twice in a row. Then we have the middle section to do with flying, B, and then we're back to A. So our form is A, A, B, A. I hope you enjoyed the ballet of the unhatched chicks. I've got a few follow-up questions and activities for you today. One, search ballet of the unhatched chicks on YouTube and see if you can find some other examples of visual representations of the music. This could be drawings, cartoons, or some sort of video animation that follows the music. How is it similar to what we saw in this video? How is it different? Which one do you think best represents the music? 2. Design your own costume for an unhatched chick. What would it look like? What materials would you use? Remember, the costume was for a ballet, so it must allow for freedom of movement. 3. Research. What is the ballet Trilby about? This was the ballet the costumes were designed for. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check back for more videos.